Okay, so the project that I want to do today is called Towel Embossing. And um, what we're going to do is embroider on a towel and have the nap of the towel come up and form some letters uh, of a word. Um, and uh, if you don't know what I'm talking about, uh, you'll see as, as we go through this. So this is Towel Embossing. and the first thing we want to do is define what hoop we're going to use. Now I'm going to assume you have an Alissimo, uh, so we're going to use the Alissimo large hoop, but you just use whatever your largest hoop is. Um, so the Alissimo large hoop is uh, 200 by 300. I do want it to be rotated 90 degrees for this project, so uh, make sure that this rotate 90 is checked. Say OK. All right, and now the next step is to draw a large rectangle so we're going to go into the artwork and choose the rectangle shape and it doesn't really matter exactly how big you make it you just you want it to be pretty big because you want it to be real big on the towel so click and drag until we're satisfied with the size of our rectangle and that rectangle looks fine to me if you like you can go over to your properties menu and click on fill and hit apply and what that'll do is fill this whole area with color it just makes it a little easier to see it doesn't actually change anything this is really just still an outline, but it fills it with color, makes it easier to see what you're doing. Um, so now we need to add our lettering, but we're not going to go in our lettering tool here, which is going to bring in embroidered letters. We're going to bring in a true type font as artwork. Um, you might not know this, but every font that's built in your computer is really just an outline file, just like what this rectangle is here. Um, and with Masterworks 3, you can import true type font as artwork. So we go to our artwork, the little pen, scroll all the way down to the bottom to import TTF artwork and we're going to click on that. So left click and here I'm just going to do my own name because I'm a narcissist. B R A D. I'm doing all capitals. You don't have to do all capitals. You can do it pretty much however you like. Um, for my font, I go here and select. You can choose from any of the fonts but um, I find personally that the thicker the font the better it works. Um, and Arial, the, the default font, if you do Arial and then under font style choose black, I know that this works fine. Um, so you can experiment with other fonts and, and see what you like. The size here doesn't matter because we're going to resize it ourselves manually. So Arial black and say OK and then hit OK again. And now you can't really see your letters that well because they're the same color as the background. So I'm just going to go up here and pick a different color, any color, it doesn't matter, any color that's different. And you just move your letters down to the lower left hand corner and grab one of these handles here and increase their size just like this so now I've got my my uh, my letters are there you want them more or less centered in here um, you can stretch them out so they fill more of the area if you want you know you, you get it however you like it um, I'm gonna smash them back down a little bit uh, but you can you can adjust this however you like it um, now the next step is to select everything in the entire field. Um, so I want both the rectangle and the letters. So there's a lot of ways to go about that. You can left click and drag up here and drag a box around. Or if I hit the control button and A, it'll highlight everything. Or if I go to my sequence view and hit all items, any of these ways will work. So whatever you like. And then you're just going to right click. Once you've got everything highlighted, right click anywhere on the design and choose combine and see what that's done? It's cut out my letters out of this rectangle. So now we're going to apply stitches to it. We go up to apply stitches and the type of fill that I want for this is a motif fill. So you click on, click on motif here, you go apply stitches, motif, and look at this, it's, it's actually cut out too much of, of my, uh, my lettering. This particular motif doesn't really work for this project anyway. So we're going to go and see if another one will work. One that I like to use is F061, this one. Hit apply. And there we go. Now we've got the definition of my letters back. Okay. So this is the font or the motif that I want you to use. You can experiment with other ones if you want to, but this is the one that I want you to use um, when you first start doing this because this one I know works for just about everything. Um, you know, there may be other ones that work just as well, but this doesn't have too, too many stitches to it either, whereas uh, a lot of the other ones make it so that the thing would take forever to stitch out. So here I've got my, my motif, and what's going to happen is I'm just going to sew this out. I'll put my towel in the hoop, 
and put maybe a, a couple layers of wash away stabilizer on the back. I'd use like a wash away mesh um, for the backing uh, and just embroider this directly onto a towel. And what will happen is this, all this, these like cross hatching is going to tack down the nap and allow the nap to stick out through the letters. And it, if you sew out the, the, um, the design in the same color as the towel, um, then it's like a, a cool relief to it. Um, so I have a nice sample of this hanging up in my store. Any of you who come to my store, you can come see what this looks like. Uh, and now you can make it yourself. You just go to your little magic ball up here, save it as, you want to save it as a BLF file first. If you don't know why you're saving it as a BLF file, a working file first, then go watch my working file video. And then we save it as a PES. I'll do just Baby Lock Brother PES version 9. Hit save. And then I transfer it to my flash drive uh, or however I'm getting it to my machine. And I can sew it out. And, and that's going to that's gonna be a design that actually works and, and looks really neat. So, well, have fun doing that. And I will see you in the next video.